one more hour. But the day had simply transpired. Work was almost finished, and regular events were next. First she'd catch the 606, by clockwork, a beat wasn't skipped. But today, as the work bell rang, she had a major hunger pain. Thankfully it's Tuesday, which means one thing, it's Chinese food night, she'd go see Mr. Yang. He had the best fried rice and sensational chow mein. But as she walked in and looked for his wave, he didn't even look up, not even a hey. She coolly walked over to her table. She sits so often it could be labeled. Mr. Yang seemed surprised and mad, not his usual self, a beat glad. He just wants to take her order, not chat about the flowers, like he does every week from the florist, his niece, down the street. She says to him, My, what a hurry you're in. He says, better to serve you quick. He comes back with her food and doesn't make his usual joke, how it's the best chow mein he's ever cooked. Instead, he almost slams the plate, and before she knew it, he was walking away. My, it seems the plates got heavy. He says, more food for you, stretches your penny. Finally, he drops the check, and the price is wrong, albeit by a cent. My, it seems the prices have changed. And then, he robs her. It was the twin of Mr. Yang.